meat so you can go one day a week without meat so let it be this Friday all right and I'm gonna come up I'm gonna show you two different recipes uh, one old school and one new school all right the old school one is for my mom because she likes it the old-fashioned way with all that mayonnaise in it and stuff and I like mine a little bit newer way using less mayonnaise and adding an apple to it and we're gonna be doing tuna salad tuna salad and there's two different types of tuna that I want you to be aware of one with oil one with water I, new school, like uh, tuna with albacore white tuna uh, in water. Okay, albacore white tuna. It's white, it smells good on the inside, and it's fresh with water on the inside. So it's less calories on this one. If you're on Weight Watchers, you can open this thing and eat the whole thing, and it's like almost zero points on you, all right? The other one where my mom is old school, she likes this one, the chunk light, but she likes hers in the darn oil. I'm like, it's like catfish y'all or no cat food yeah cat food <laughs> and this was the one that smells all right this is the kind that most uh, restaurants serve you however if you want to go healthier go with the albacore white so these are two different tunas that we're going to be doing it uh old school new school all right which one are you what kind of tuna do you like all right so we are here on uh the app called uh, called uh tiktok tick tiktok uh i am live here on tiktok and i will be downloading this and going over to youtube where i'll upload uh this uh demonstration all right so thanks for coming in hello hannah how are you doing uh i'm gonna flip this around because we're gonna be doing um and, and the simple ingredients in here we're using a little bit of celery uh, some onion, sweet relish, mayonnaise, and then I'm going to put apple in mine to give it a little bit more crunch and sweetness in my um, my tuna salad. All right, so let's go. Uh, you can do a couple different things if you're watching. We have nine viewers watching. Tap tap on the screen, and that gives hearts out right there. And uh, follow if you're not already following. I do food food broadcasts. However, I did a video today on my outfit and the different ways I can wear my sundress. All right, so go back and watch that one. Thank you for joining. Hello, Tina. How are you doing? So let's flip. Hey, Army Vet. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. Chase the Who. How are you doing? Hello, Nanny Sheila. What are you doing, girl? All right. So let's flip this camera around. And if I can find it, we can find it somewhere around here. Enhance flip camera. There we go. I didn't mirror image it because I'm flipping the camera over. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an apple. This one is almost ready to uh, go bye-bye, but uh, it's not in the best form. But I'm gonna use this apple here, and all I'm gonna do is slice it right in half. I'm not gonna use a core or anything like that because this it's just a little piece of core right here. But I wanna slice this, and um, we'll get some of this out of here. Let me see if I can do it in a V wedge, just using my knife and get that core out of there. I'm not sure I can get this one down. I was I couldn't find my my apple wet my apple mm, core out, and so I'm just using it this way. There we go. Just get that right out. We don't need that part, and this is a smaller one, so we don't need to do as big of a V. So I'm just getting the um, the seed the core out of the apple because you really don't want to eat that part there. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick slice, which is a Pampered Chef tool. And all the tools you see here are available for sale. I am a Pampered Chef consultant and I'm just showing you how to use your tools so that you can you make this stuff at home. So I'm going to get my apple. I'm going to just rock and roll it and it's going to be perfect slices. So if you want apples for like, say, um, dipping and stuff, this is perfect type of dipping ones. All right, we're going to actually turn this over and we're going to dice it up a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can... Let's do it this way and dice dice it all up. I got a whole one. I think I only need a half of an apple up oh, this way. There you go. Dice it up. There. Oh, got it. And now this one has it. You can probably do it one more time just so it's more of a, a dice rather than a rectangle. And I'm leaving the, the skin on my apple because it's the healthiest part of the apple. All right, try to get yourself some... Uh, organic apples they're a little bit healthier for you and if you can wash your apples wash your apples in some baking soda it takes off some of that coating that's on the apples from uh, preservatives and stuff so, so cleaning your apples just put them in a bowl put some baking soda in there and wash it around and it cleans it right up for you all right so I'm gonna just slice this one more time Let me see uh, little little ones there it doesn't have to be perfect because you know you just it's going in a salad but I want it like more cubed like 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 this part, like that, all right? So we got all that, put it all in. It doesn't have to be all the same size or anything like that. 
and one half of an apple is perfect. All right, so if you're not gonna use the rest of the apple, because this is quite a lot of apple to use for one container of, of tuna, you can always get yourself a bowl. All right, get yourself a little one cup prep bowl and put your apple in there and cover it with some water. If you want, you can put some lemon juice in it, uh, but the water will, will keep it also fresh. Also just turn it over. And then when you're ready to eat it, it'll be nice and clean for you and um, not brown. All right, so we got this one ready. We're going to add in the rest of our ingredients once we get our, our uh, veggies cut up. All right, so I'm going to use some celery. Hey, I use um, diced boiled eggs and pickles, mayo, and my tuna. Do you? Oh, I didn't use, but I never thought about putting eggs in there. I always do egg salad. All right, I'm gonna keep keep that off. We're gonna save these parts and don't, don't throw them away because we kind of use them for soup stock. All right, I only need a little bit of of let of celery in here. The celery gives it a little bit of a crunch also. So we're gonna put that right down. Let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna dice up. Just just do a nice little dice. Yeah, I can probably put it in my quick slice here, but I want it a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch. All right, on my celery. And I'm just using a Santuco knife. There we go. And I need enough for two servings of on the um, celery. All right. There. All right. So we need one. I'm gonna put one in one bowl. Probably the bottom of that should be good enough. Might need a little bit more for my own. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more. Let's cut up that that top part of that celery. We just need a little bit more. Yeah. And. Let's put that off to the side. That's the dead end part of it. And chop that up. All right. So celery is going to give it a little bit uh, different texture and flavor uh, than the rest of the ingredients. All right. Because it's nice and chewy. There we go. I forgot to I forgot to peel the celery, but don't say anything, okay? So we got our apple and celery in one and just celery in the other. Next, I'm going to get a uh, onion that I have. I have a little piece of onion left, and I just want to dice part of this onion up. Uh, I don't need a whole lot. You just need a little bit of onion in it. It just gives it another flavor to it. And just and just a little bit of onion. Like, we don't need a whole lot. Like, that's more than enough. All right, so you're going to put in a dash of of real onion in here. If you don't have real onion, then use like three onion rub or something like that to put a little more flavor into your tuna. All right, that's all done. Again, I'm gonna put this in my one cup prep bowl, put my lid on it so it doesn't stink up my kitchen. And um, that's pretty much all the prep work we need for our tuna salad. All right, so this one has celery, onions, and apple in it. And this one just has celery and onions. All right, let me see. Next, Lex, let's see what you're doing. Uh, I never peel celery. <laughs> My mom likes it peeled. I'm okay either way. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some sweet relish. Let's get those bowls back, and we're going to add in all this stuff in. All right, here we go. There's two bowls. Let me see if I can get it in the camera angle there. Pretty good. All right, and... I only use one tablespoon of sweet relish in mine because it is sweet. It does have sugar in it, and I don't need a whole lot of 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 um, sweet relish in mine. So one in mine and two in my mom's. All right. So hers is old school. Mine's new school, meaning less calories and healthier for you. All right. Got all that. Next, we're gonna add in mayonnaise. Yep, mayonnaise. Now my mom. I don't really have to look at. I can wing hers because she's not on any particular diet where I am. And I am measuring one tablespoon of mayonnaise into my uh, my tuna salad. And I'm using the Pampered Chef. Uh, this is a mini uh, measure all. All right. And it goes up to four tablespoons or two ounces on this one. So we're going to put that right in. Let me see if I can get this off. Put it right in. There we go. Plop it right off. One tablespoon only because... Mayonnaise is not the healthiest, but this is where all my calories is going to be right there. All right. Next, we're going to open up our tuna and we'll open up my mom's first. Hers is a chunk light one and we're using the Pampered Chef Smooth Edge Can Opener. It goes right on top and we're going to squeeze it and it goes like this way. Okay. So it goes like that and you go all the way around until you don't feel it. Um, it's going to have a release you're going to feel it release once you get to the um, 360 area. And I think I got it. 
I didn't feel it, probably because I was talking. You're going to put it on the ground or on the t on the countertop, not on the ground, on the countertop. And you're going to use this little lever right here, which is activated by your, your thumb. So you're going to put it right down on there and you're going to pull right up on it. There you go. Now, what you can do, if you wash your can, you can actually uh, drain it. Uh, but a lot of people don't wash their cans, believe it or not. And you never know what critters were running across the top of your can. So I have this other, let me see if I can find it here. Of course I can't find it. Oh my goodness, I don't have it today. Uh, oh, here it is. All right, so. Pampered Chef has these uh, can strainers, and normally for a normal can, you put it over the can like this, and you can drain it right out, okay? We're not going to use it that way. We're going to actually put it this way, and it'll drain it uh, right in there, just like that. It'll drain right out, and I'm going to go to my sink and get all that uh, liquid out. You see how the liquid's coming out? We're going to drain that out. And now we just get the, um, the the drained tuna out of the can. And now I should have done mine first because now it has all that yucky stuff on it. So let me wa wash this off for a sec and get it nice and clean because I don't want her oil in my tuna. That's cross-contamination. I don't mind putting mine in hers, but not hers in mine. All right, all right so I cleaned it all off just using the water and some soap and now I got my strainer all cleaned up again to use it on mine all right there we go so again we're gonna do that's hers and I'm gonna use this one on mine so we have two different ones all right next we're gonna use our can opener again do it to mine and again you're gonna see the difference in the color between the albacore white tuna and the regular tuna out of the can with the oil all right we're gonna go all the way around there we go it released pull it up there you go and you can see the difference already in the color between these two and again I'm gonna just put my my um, strainer right in here I'm gonna drain out some of the liquid I'm gonna leave some of the liquid in here because you need the moisture from it okay so I left some of the moisture in this one because I'm not using as much mayonnaise in it all right and again, you can see the difference in the two different types of tuna. One was in oil, one's in water, one's albacore, and one's just standard tuna. And uh, one's pink, one's white. All right. And let me see. What are we making? We're making tuna salad. This one is the new, the one I'm uh, currently touching, is the new way of making tuna salad with apples and uh, albacore white tuna in water. And you're just going to break it up. And again, I don't use a whole lot of mayonnaise. That one tablespoon is going to... Uh, give you enough creaminess in here and you won't have uh, I did try to use fat-free Greek yogurt there's no substitution for mayonnaise I'm just saying you can put some fat-free Greek yogurt in here if you want a little bit more liquidy um, but you want that taste of the mayonnaise All right like I give up a lot of different um, uh, stuff but the mayonnaise this is one thing you need it in in your tuna salad now one thing I'm missing is pepper and I like fresh cracked pepper and we're gonna put a lot of it in here a lot of it in mine and in my mom's all right we both like pepper in our tuna like a lot okay let's put in hers there we go you love tuna salad you can all right so I'm just showing you the basics of how to make the tuna salad it's up to you if you want to put uh, this tuna salad on a salad if you want to do it in a tuna in a lettuce wrap or if you want to put it on bread if you want to put it on English muffins that's up to you but this one's just to show you two different ways of making uh, tuna tuna fish one's the old school which is I'm mixing up right now my mom's way and she has onions um, celery sweet relish and mayonnaise in hers and mine has I put an apple half of an apple diced up in there in mine and a lot less mayonnaise in mine all right but you make this up uh, about an hour before you're going to eat it so all the flavors can marry together all right there we go and hers mixed up really good see how how hers has a lot more mayonnaise in it but she likes hers very very wet but it's up to you how you what you want to put in your uh tuna salad whether it's all mayonnaise or just a little bit and you see mine's a lot more chunkier with those uh apples in it it gives you a, a lot more freshness to the uh, tuna salad on this one with the apples i love it 
I won't make tuna salad any other way anymore without the apple. It just doesn't cut it. All right, and you can see mine has a little, little bit more volume because we added the apple in it. Uh, I did do one tablespoon of sweet relish in mine versus my mom's had two tablespoons of sweet relish in hers. All right, and again, oops, there, there it's gonna go in hers. <laughs> Don't get it go in hers. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Oh. I'm telling you, the apples really give it a nice sweetness to it and color to the salad. All right, give it here. All right, which one are you going to want? The old-fashioned one or the new way? Old-fashioned or new? <laughs> Two different ones, albacore or regular tuna. All right, add noodle. You can add whatever you want. Um, this is best cold, not hot. You can do a um, an open face tuna melt where you put it on an English muffin, put a big scoop of tuna on it, put some cheddar cheese on it, and put it in the toaster oven and melt it a little bit. That one's really good. But again, it has the bread to it and the cheese to it. You can just top it right on a salad. I'll probably just eat it just the way it is right now. All right, I'm still stuck with the old way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are York power. And that's just fine. However, if you want to change your eating habits, change it a little bit at a time. Use half the um, mayonnaise in here or use albacore uh, tuna on here versus uh, the one in the oil. Making small changes to your diet will help you in the long run uh, change over to like the total healthy way on this one here. I love apples, so I need to try this. Yeah, if you love apples and you like tuna, definitely try the apples in the tuna salad. It's tasted to the next level. It is... It's almost like dessert <laughs> on there. Is that a mango? No, this is actually a uh, apple. We had an apple. I only used half of the apple. I think this is a, a pink lady apple that I used up. I only used half of it. We sliced it, took out the core, and then um, I sliced and diced it using the Pampered Chef uh, quick slice on it. These are two of the Pampered Chef scrapers that I use, and the bowls are in the entertaining set with Pampered Chef. Okay, so these bowls are microwave and oven safe on here. Uh, will anyone donate $1 towards <laughs> Headstone? I don't know about that, Elise. You may have to go live and do it on your on your um, uh, broadcast, but not on this broadcast. Thanks for coming in. But that's uh, not really appropriate to go into other people's uh, broadcasts and ask for donations or anything else. So thank you for coming by. All right, Red, Nick, Red Rock is in the house. Lion's in the house. Let me see who else is in here. If you can do, you can tap hearts, share out, and follow along. My name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef, and I just showed you how to make two different types of tuna salad, old-fashioned way, new way. All right, new way is a lot healthier. The only thing I used that was really, really bad in here was one tablespoon of mayonnaise, and I did use one tablespoon of sweet relish. And if you're on Weight Watchers, both of those have points on it, but the apple, the celery, onions, and that tuna is zero points on it, so I can eat that and and, and not feel bad about eating something that is totally unhealthy like this one here. Uh, you, both of them for you there, Katie, baby. Thank you so much. New way says, uh, Lawrence white. How are you doing? Uh, is no, uh, with, uh, new without the apple. I don't like fruit and savory. Diff uh, actually it's, um, yeah, no, it, it's not that it, if you use a granny Smith, it'll have a more tartness versus the pink lady has a lot more sweet apples. So if you're not used to fruit in your food, then maybe start with a tartar apple on there. I like, oh, cranberries. Okay, so cranberries are very, very good. However, when they're dried out, they become pure sugar. And there's a lot more calories in dried fruit than there is in the whole fruit, just like raisins I, I can uh, and grapes. Grapes I can put in here, no problem. But once I put raisins in here, it elevates your sugar on there. So I try to stay away from dried fruit on there. Uh, same with uh, putting it like smoothies. You, it's better to eat your fruit than to um, parade it up and drink your fruit. It just has a lot more fiber in it. And it takes you longer to eat the whole fruit than it is to drink it right down. Uh, let me see. Anybody else has questions? Let me see. <laughs> oh. What do that? I'm going to eat that other half of the apple or you can use it as a dipping thing. Uh, let's see. Manage. Okay, so I think I got that rid of that one person there. Let me see if I can flip us around. If you have any questions, I can actually read your, um, uh, your, let me see, cancel that. Uh, flip the camera back to me, and then we'll go back and say hello uh, and give you the answer. 
but the should at least sit for an hour. I probably eat mine a little bit quicker because I got to go to work for 4.15. I got to leave the house at 4.15 to go to work for 4.45. Uh, what do you do with the other? We ate it. All right. It's healthy uh, to buy the water and the tuna instead of the oil. Yes, it is. Totally healthy, Johnny. If you can afford it, definitely buy it when it's on sale. I did buy one uh, pack. It was like, I don't know, $5 for like four cans or something like that. Maybe five cans. Um, I forget what the price, but it was on sale. Definitely buy your, your tuna when it's on sale. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Thanks, King Crew. Uh, I'm here. Hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Thank you for following my duck in the arrow. How are you doing? I couldn't see you on my feed. I have no idea. I sent you the I sent you the thing saying I was going live there, Aiden. If you want me to tell you to go, uh, I I am on um, uh, Messenger, uh, and I do send out uh, messages in Messenger when I'm going to go live, and so I, I I have a few people that can come in uh, a lot quicker. Uh, so I have no idea, Aiden, on that one. But anyway, I made this too. <clears throat> I gotta get to work. Uh, I did do a video earlier on on uh, my outfit. I thought that was really cute. And then somebody asked me about doing my hair. I gotta redo my hair. But I gotta figure out uh, the camera angle and to show you how I do the hair up back there. <laughs> and there's a couple different ways I do it um, that looks really good. This one is definitely an outside French braid rather than an inside one. And then I also do a rope one. Uh, let's see. Hello, it's your boy. How are you doing? Hello, Mama Bear joined in. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, so uh, it is, this is definitely, it's uh, Lent Friday and it's Foodie Friday. And I thought everybody would like to see two different versions of making tuna salad. And if you liked my type of vi um, broadcast or videos or lives, please follow me. Uh, my name is Alexis. I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia. It was a cool day outside of 70 degrees, but it was sunny but very windy uh i do try to use my watch here i have an eye watch and i am up to <laughs> i try to do 400 um i don't know four, uh, 400 on my arm movements 30 minutes of activity for my heart to be up at a heart rate and uh 10 000 steps and right now let me see i'm going to give you how many steps i'm at right now and it's only four four three forty right now it's, i'm at ten thousand right now so when i go into work i'll probably do about six thousand steps at work all right. Uh, thank you, Corey, for following. Uh, let's see. Do you co do cooking? Yes, York Power. I do cooking streams. I am a Pampered Chef consultant. This apron is actually on backwards, so it's backwards for me, but right right for you. Uh, not on her broadcast. Sorry. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> there, uh, 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 Kane Crew. You, um, you know, ma'am, this is very... <laughs> Well, you know what? I can't. I, I can't confirm that, and it is not uh, what they call fat checked. So I don't know about that. There we go. Uh, what do you do with? Oh, we already said that it's very healthy and water. Yes, Christine. Yep. There. I'm going backwards. I think. Uh, you said hi. You say I know. I say okay a lot. Um. Next. <laughs> There's a lot of them that I say quite often. It's just a nervous way. Hey, oh my gosh, K Haley, KC, KC, how you doing? Hiya. Hiya, girl. How you doing? So yes, I do say that. It's just a nervous way of, of talking, but at least I do try to go live. All right. And that's the whole thing. It, it doesn't matter if I'm saying the same thing over and over again, because people come in for the different broad and the broadcast at different times. Hello there, uh, Reza. Hi, Reza, is it is it that way? Brendan's daughter. Hey, it's Ashley, Brenda's daughter. Oh my God, it's Brenda's daughter. How you doing, girl? Follow. There you go. You got to follow. I didn't get the name. The name's totally wrong, Ashley. <laughs> Would you suggest boiled eggs mixed with your tuna? I don't do the eggs. Somebody just mentioned earlier on the broadcast that they put eggs in their tuna. I don't. Uh, I'll rather have egg salad or keep eggs separate uh, than my from my tuna there. Uh, just became, uh, right, so we just became my number one top viewer. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. I do say um a lot there, girl. Uh, let's see. I'm good. How's Bry Bryce? Bryce is doing great. Hey, y'all. All right, so we're getting a little longer. Bryce called yesterday, and he's not coming home for Easter. He, uh, school ends like the first or second week of May, and he's looking at staying up in the Tennessee area, up uh, up, up near the Ocoee River, and being a guide for whitewater rafting or something like that. And then his girlfriend, Natalie, will be doing the horses at that same facility. I said, send me some information on this place. So Bryce is doing great. Uh, um, he has a formal coming up. I had a rent a tux, that was money, money. And then um, 
there I go, um, he is uh, staying up in that area for summer to make money. All right, so he'll be at some kind of camp that they pay their room and board, but they the first two weeks of training, they have to pay for it themselves. So I don't know how much, how much that's gonna be. You're good, How's how the kids, how the boys? <laughs> Uh, hello, Thelma. Thanks for coming in and joining. So anyway, you can do a couple different things on my broadcast. You can tap those hearts just like you're on Periscope. You can share the broadcast out. Just copy and say share. Uh, and uh, follow for other tips and information in the kitchen. I'm also going to be doing some some other uh, broadcasts like dressing and, and uh, accessorizing and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of the Pampered Chef's tools, I am very soft sell. I don't say, hey, buy this now, you know. If you're interested in any of these tools that I have, the can opener, the quick slice, any of the other tools that you see, I am a vet, uh, you can purchase it on my link or host your own party, all right? Uh, April's a great month to host because once you get to 650, and in guest sales, you get an extra hundred dollars free to shop anywhere you want on, on Pampered Chef. And yeah, that's available for sale too. That's a pizza peel that's sitting up on my wall there. And we have the blender over there. I have all Pampered Chef here. So, and uh, Ashley, Risa's mom got me into Pampered Chef. So anyway, thank you. So anyway, thanks. It. That's it. I'm going to flip us around and end on the, um, the tuna fish because that's what we all came in for. We have two different types of tuna fish, old school tuna fish and the new one with the apple in it using albacore or white white tuna or this one is a regular tuna in oil with mayonnaise and um a lot and a lot more sweet relish on it and it says sweet relish i added a half an apple to my tuna fish it is very good i will upload this broadcast over to youtube so follow me over there if you're not already if you're on youtube then follow me over to tiktok to see it live and you can ask me questions there too uh, i do have a table platform t-a-b-l-e which is a pampered chef website where you can get all these um the videos will be over there and the recipes will be over there as well so thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your time i'll see y'all next time bye i'm waving to y'all bye